You have to say he's the best point guard ever. Having a discussion with my guy Jamal Crawford, not traditional point guard. I'm like, bro, but he's listed as a point guard. You putting him over Magic? Yes. Yes, of course I am. Yeah, you heard it here first. But he's not a traditional point guard. That's a good point. The game has evolved. His position says point guard. You have to say he's a... Game seven versus the Sacramento Kings. Backs against the wall where they just blew an opportunity to end the series in game six. Golden State Warriors go in a hostile environment against a hostile crowd, probably one of the loudest crowds in the NBA. And Steph Curry dropped the most points in the game seven in NBA history with 50 points, just dominating, especially in the second half. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how we have to have a long talk and we gotta have a serious talk about Steph Curry. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We'll be back again with another video. So, what I mean about a serious talk about Steph Curry. So, a lot of people are now comparing him to Magic Johnson as the best point guard of all time. This is how I'm gonna break this down. I'm gonna give my own experience. I'm not gonna say who's who, which which player is better because listen, everybody lives in different eras. Everybody's got to experience, got to see which player was better, which player was their, which point guard was their greatest point guard they ever seen. So in my experience, I got to saw, I got to see Steph Curry live in effect for his whole career, basically. I got to see him back in 2008 in the NCAA tournament when he was at Davidson, where he just took this team to elite eight, averaging about almost 30 points per game, just shooting the lights out from the field, shooting lights out from the three point range. Loss versus Kansas, but only by three points because he missed a big time shot. Then I got an opportunity to see him in 2013, first time in the playoffs, where he goes to get goes up against Denver Nuggets, a talented Denver Nuggets team. What does he do? Well, he makes a big time shot in game one, but they all, they end up losing that that game with a game winning shot. Then in game two. The Golden State Warriors dominate. We have Harrison Barnes, young Draymond Green out there, having Andrew Bogut, you know, a young Golden State Warriors team that was coming up. Then I got to see Steph Curry just lighting it up in game three and game four. Just with this electrified crowd that Golden State has. This is where I, I'm not going to lie. I became a Golden State Warriors fan and I became a Steph Curry fan because... Steph Curry was putting the league on notice. Why? Three-point shots are now in the league nowadays. Everybody wants to shoot threes. Back then, Magic Johnson, everybody wanted to pass like Magic Johnson. Look at the influences of Magic Johnson. Jason Williams, Jason Kidd, with Chris Paul, Steve Nash. Those point guards are influencing from Magic Johnson. The flashy passes. The IQ of flashy passes, able to make free throws at the free throw line, able, able to galvanize all the all the teammates around him, able to make the teammates better, and able to put on a show. That's why they call it the Lakers Showtime because they because of Magic Johnson. Now we fast forward to this generation where it started back in 2013. Every if you go on the block, everybody wants to shoot threes now. Nobody wants to go for a layup regularly. Everyone, everybody wants to do the, the nasty dribble and then step back. Everybody wants to do a step back. And everybody wants to shoot threes. Everybody wants to be Seth Curry. This is my point. Which player influenced the game more? Y'all can decide down in the comments. Because Magic Johnson definitely influenced the game by the, the point guards that came in this league back in the day. We had, like I said, Jason Kidd, Jason Williams, Steve Nash, Chris Paul. There's other amazing point guards out there also. You understand? Now, we got Steph Curry, who just 
Everybody else wants to be like him. Everybody wants to shoot like him. You see all these big men shooting threes. Why? Why is that? Stephen Curry, who was able to be become the greatest shooter God has ever created, the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Now, I would say this. A lot of these threes are coming off screens. That's another point why a lot of people want to shoot threes. A lot of these threes are coming off screens. But Steph Curry, he showed it in game seven. Most of those threes were not off screens. He just took over. Steph Curry, well, he's a four-time champion, two-time MVP. He is 3-1 versus LeBron, I believe. He also choked a 3-1 lead versus LeBron James. But that's a different story. But this man has dominated in the last decade. We have to put him at the discussion. I'm not going to say who's better because, like I said, people live in different eras and people got to experience magic and people got to experience Curry. I got to experience Curry from my own eyes since he came out of Davidson. And I'm not going to lie, I wanted to shoot just like him. Everybody wants to shoot. Everybody is working on that jump shot. You see that, right? You see all these big men shooting threes. You see all these point guards shooting all these threes now. You see a lot of step backs. You see people just not able really to take it to the goal like that no more. Everybody wants to shoot threes. Everybody wants to... The NBA might create a four-point line, ladies and gentlemen, just because of Steph Curry and Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard is probably the closest right now to Curry. Still not on his level. Curry is that dude. Now, if we talking about point guard, Magic got it. Magic is a pure point guard. Curry's not really a pure point guard. He knows how to pass the ball, obviously. But Curry is a scoring point guard. There's a huge difference, in my opinion. I believe Seven Curry is the best scoring point guard we have ever seen. Pure point guard, Magic still has it. That's a proven fact. But pure point guard, Curry is the best. I mean, scoring point guard, excuse me. Scoring point guard, Curry is the best. You can make an argument down in the comments who is better, but this is a serious conversation we had to have. Nobody, I mean nobody, has dropped 50 points in a game seven. And Curry did not just shoot threes by doing this. Curry is a leader, he's a winner, he's a Hall of Famer, and he's one of the best point guards to ever live. Because how he influenced the game from 2013 to now. 10 years, ladies and gentlemen. 10 year decade. Magic did it back then. Curry's doing it now. Both of these are, both of these guards are two of the best players to ever influence at their position. So just appreciate the greatness while we have it. That's all I got to do. That's all I got to say for this video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy. Give your boy a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Go keep dropping bangers like this. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video. It's me and Bo Will, and I'm out.